for Eastern indigenous culture, the native memory of specific places in the landscape can extend back to the Ice Age. Long ago, according to Native American tradition, there was a great lake in the middle of New England. In that lake there lived a beaver, a giant beaver, who terrorized the villages along the shore. The monster ate all the fish in the lake and then began taking the people. The Indians called out to a great force they called Hobomok, who came and battled the giant mammal. With a final blow to the neck, Hobomok killed the beaver and the body sank to the bottom of the lake. The Pocumtuck people who lived in this area at the time of European contact left an oral history account that after the high waters drained away, the petrified body of the giant could still be seen where it sank in the middle of the lake. The story was first recorded by missionaries around 1820, and it was thought of as a fanciful Indian myth. But scientists now understand that there once was a huge lake that filled the Connecticut Valley, and the region was populated with giant Pleistocene mammals, but it was more than 12,000 years ago when the last ice age was melting away. The legend of the giant beaver suggests that traditional environmental knowledge, including the memory of specific places in the eastern landscape, can extend back to a time when our present terrain was still being formed. Since then, hundreds of generations of native peoples have been monitoring the physical and spiritual forces of the northeastern environment. This story will ask us to look at the land in new ways, to imagine some of the possibilities that earlier traditional cultures may have had for envisioning their world.